Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to this new Focus Friday video. So today, oh last week I spoke to you about um, water changes and the necessity of them or the lack of necessity for them and one of the view, one of you viewers gave a very good comment which was that water changes are also a very good means of removing the uh, all the detritus and a waste that the fish are creating in your tank and that the the most efficient way of removing those is doing water changes and uh, removing it with a hose uh, or removing the dirty water altogether so i thought let's do a video this week on the mess that fish that fish create in your tank since that's actually a very was a very good comment with, with a very good point that um, the more fish you have in your tank uh, of course will create more waste in your tank and more waste uh, means that you will need to find ways of removing that waste from the tank otherwise your tank will get dirtier and dirtier over time your nutrients will spike and eventually your corals will start to die and after that your fish as well so that's of course a scenario that uh, no one wants it can be a very gradual pro process so um, let's do a quick round around the aquarium and uh, see what uh, what these fish uh, contribute to and how to uh, actually prevent that from happening so as you can see uh, this is one of the dirtiest spots in my aquarium um, I'll try to highlight it a little bit it, the light is a little blue so it's a bit hard for me to show but over here there's quite some detritus and as you can already see there's two of the sand sifting starfish that I have in my tank are actually at this spot removing or at least trying to remove the detritus from the tank so while these fish create a lot of dirt and dust as you can see on the rocks here as well um, these, these starfish attempt to clean it not only this ones but also here in the top left corner it's a bit in the corner so it's hard to see but as you can see there's a blue linkia right here that's oftentimes crawling across the rocks the rock work trying to remove the detritus as well then there's of course the sand sifting goby where where i have two of those uh, which are also uh attempting to remove the detritus from the sand here's a good example of some red cyano algae and if i didn't have those sand sifting gobies then this would be a large spot of cyano but because the gobies are actively filtering the sand with their mouths um, as you can see right now uh, this is a very good example let me briefly focus on that so these fish are actually removing this cyanoalgia from the sand by by moving the sand around and filtering it which will prevent your tank from creating large spots of cyanobacteria and these fish actually find nutrients to grow and to to survive from all the stuff that ends up in your sand so it's a bit of a circle of life of course, fair point, the best way to remove this detritus, this dirt, this dust from my tank is of course by picking up a hose, filtering this off, siphoning this off actually and uh, that way removing it altogether uh, since leaving this in the tank will, well, well, it will not decrease my nutrients at, uh, so that's why I, uh, why I need to do that so those are two very good examples of natural means of removing the fish created dirt from your tank of course um, the um, the water is also being uh, being uh, filtered in the sump so um, because of the natural flow in your tank as you can see the water is a bit dusty which is mainly caused actually by the uh, uh, the food that I'm feeding at the moment 
So you might think the water is a little bit cloudy. It's, it's less cloudy than it seems, but it's mostly caused by the fish feeding on the mustic, which you can see right here. The Easy Reefs mustic is a food product that I feed once a week, uh, which all the fish love, as you can see here. Most of my fish are eating this, um, and they're, uh, they're enjoying it. As you can see, they're all pretty fat fish. Of course, this will also eating I, I tend to feed a lot, so while I only feed this once a week, I do feed uh, must or oh, sorry mice and krill every day, uh, quite some uh, quite a bit. If you've seen my me feed before in one of my previous videos, you know that I try to uh, feed as much that all the fish have a chance to eat, which will also uh, increase increase the. Uh, the load, the biological load that it has on the tank by creating more uh, nutrients in the tank if not everything gets eaten for example or if your fish eat too much they will also uh, uh, well, need to remove it from their bodies again other than being fat um, so that's also a very uh, a good thing to, uh, to consider like I mentioned before um, as your fish grow and eat more they will also release more detritus into the tank and uh, that will increase the biological load on your system. So I've just shown you some of the, uh, the worst examples of, uh, of dirt piling up in the tank. As you can see on the other side it's not that bad, there's a patch here as well, but definitely uh, there's definitely room for improvement in my tank. Uh, but then again, having these gobies, having these sand sifting starfish, having the blue linkia to clean a bit of the rocks are definitely good means to help removing the detritus from the tank. And of course, other things like uh, sea urchins, like the one you can see right here, and there's one or two more in my tank, will also keep your rocks clean. They live off the detritus. So there's, other than water changes, also other means of removing these detritus from your tank. Like I mentioned before I went to the other side to show you the mustic, um, uh, just moving around the water in your tank by using uh, uh, power heads or gyres or things alike, you will uh, move the detritus which will then, through the overflow box, go into the sump. Of course, having a decent skimmer is very important as well for removing detritus from your tank. Uh, so even if you're, it doesn't matter if you're doing water changes or not, having a good skimmer is uh, very important in my opinion, uh, since um, it will definitely uh, remove a lot of the dust and dirt in the form of foam uh, into your... Uh, into your skimmer cup and if you're doing it right then when you open the cup it will smell a bit gnarly or very gnarly and then of course that's all because the water that's coming in here um, is being filtered in the sump area by the skimmer and of course but I've shown you this before the roller mat uh, which is a Clary C, it's the older model uh, as you can see on the back the new roll is white and the dirty one in the front is brown so that also helps in removing detritus from the water um, so I think by showing you this you have a pretty good idea of um, my method of keeping the water clean um, I'm not saying this is the best way to do it I just wanted to demonstrate that uh, you can do various things um, in addition to water changes or instead of water changes, just as you prefer, um, to keep your tank uh, clean and remove the detritus that your fish are creating uh, from your tank. So all in all, we can conclude that the, uh, the more fish you have in your tank and the larger they grow, 
the more biological load this will create in your reef, in your ecosystem, and the more fish you have, the more the bigger fish you have, uh, the more creative you will need to get to clean, to keep it clean, to keep the nutrients in check. Um, and if everything else fails, uh, please consider water changes since they are sometimes they can be life-saving. So I'll give you that. Let's let's end the video on that. Um, and uh, for now, I want to wish you a very nice weekend. And uh, I hope to see you again next week. So, bye-bye.